Hello everyone, it's Cleofa here and welcome to Crafting Shed. I hope everyone is well. For today's video, I just want to show you a very easy and simple project to make. It's an oval doily. This pattern is really easy to follow. No stress, just simple crocheting. I know there are a lot of anxieties right now about COVID-19 or the coronavirus. So I hope this will take your mind off of whatever stresses we have right now. I hope this video will help you a little bit uh, alleviate those feelings of uncertainty. I know for me, uh, crocheting is very therape therapeutic. I hope it is for you too. So if you find yourself confined at home and you just want to do a simple, relaxing crocheting, I'm hoping that this is one of the projects that will fit to your needs right now. Again, I wish everyone well, stay safe and healthy. And as always, thank you very much for patronizing my videos. I really appreciate it. And here's hoping that everything will get back to normal really, really soon. And now let's get started. For the materials, you can use any size 4 medium weight yarn and for mine, I use an off-white color. I use size H 5mm crochet hook and a pair of scissors and a blunt needle. Optional is markers and tape measure. So let's start with a knot and chain 12. So chain 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And this is twelve chains. Round one, double crochet in fourth chain from hook. So one, two, three, fourth, double crochet in this chain, and double crochet in the next seven chains. So double crochet here, first one, one, in the next chain, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Then this is what it looks like. In the last chain right here, we're going to do seven double crochets in this chain. So in the same chain, seven double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven double crochets all in the same chain. Now we are on the opposite side of the chain, right here of the piece. So next is double crochet in the next seven stitches starting here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And this is what it looks like. Now on the last chain right here, we're going to do five double crochets in the same stitch. So on this chain, one, two, three, four, and five double crochets in the same chain. Then to join this round, we're going to slip stitch on the third chain of the beginning uh, chain right here. So in the third chain right here, slip stitch to join the round. So 
So this is how to end round one and this is what round one looks like. Round two, chain two, one, two, double crochet in the next 10 stitches. So starting here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And this is what it looks like. Then three double crochets in the next uh, three stitches. So on this stitch here, on the next stitch, right here, three double crochets in the same stitch. One, two, and three. All in the same stitch. And then again, three double crochets in the next stitch again. So one, two, and three double crochets in the same stitch. And in the next stitch, three double crochets again. So one, two, and three. Then double crochet in the next stitch right here. Then repeat once more, ten, uh, double crochet in the next 10 stitches starting here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. This is what it looks like. Then three double crochets in the next three in each of the next three stitches. So in here, three double crochets in this stitch. One, two, three double crochets in the same stitch, and another three double crochets in this stitch. One, two, three double crochets in the same stitch, and one more, three double crochets in this next stitch. So one, two, and three double crochets in the same stitch. And then to join this round, just slip stitch on this stitch right here. So I, I hope you can see it clearly. So on this stitch, slip stitch. So this is how to end round two, and this is what round two looks like. Round three, chain two, one, two, double crochet in the next 10 stitches, starting here, starting in the first stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. This is what it looks like. Then two double crochets in the next stitch. So here, two double crochets in this stitch. One, two double crochets in the same stitch. Then double crochet in the next stitch right here. Then two double crochets in the next stitch. One and two double crochets in the same stitch. Another two double crochets in the next stitch. So one, two in the same stitch. Then double crochet in the next stitch. Double crochet here. Then repeat this one more. So two double crochets in the next stitch, one, 
two double crochets in the same stitch, another two double crochets in the next stitch, so one, two double crochets in the same stitch, and double crochet in the next stitch right here. So that was two times. This is what it looks like. Then two double crochets in the next stitch, one, two double, two double crochets in the same stitch, double crochet in the next stitch. Then repeat the pattern, 10 double crochet, double crochet in the next 10 stitches starting in the next stitch here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. This is what it looks like. Then two double crochets in the next stitch right here. So one, and two double crochets in the same stitch, double crochet in the next stitch, then two double crochets in the next stitch right here, one, two double crochets in the same stitch, another two double crochets in the next stitch, one, two double crochets in the same stitch, one double crochet in the next stitch. Then we'll do this one more time. Two double crochets in the next stitch. One. And two double crochets in the same stitch. Another two double crochets in the next stitch. One. And two double crochets in the same stitch. And double crochet in the next stitch. Then on the last stitch, right here, two double crochets to end the round. So two double crochets, one and two. So that's two double crochets in the same stitch. And then to join this round, just slip stitch on this stitch right here. So I hope you can see clearly. So slip stitch to end round three. So this is how to end round three, and this is what round three looks like. Round four, chain two. Double crochet in the next 12 stitches, starting here in the first stitch. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. This is what it looks like. So 12. Then two double crochets in the next stitch. So two double crochets and double crochet in the next stitch six times. So this is the first one, two double crochets in the next stitch same stitch then double crochet in the next stitch that's the first one two double crochets again in the next stitch one two double crochets in the same stitch and double crochet in the next stitch that's the second one then two double crochets in the next stitch one two double crochets in the same stitch and one double crochet in the next stitch this is the third one then two double crochets again in the next stitch, one and two double crochets in the same stitch, and one double crochet in this next stitch. So this is the fourth one. Two double crochets again in the next stitch, one and two double crochets in the same stitch, and one double crochet in the next stitch. That's the fifth one. Two double crochets in the next stitch, one and two double crochets. Then one double crochet in the next stitch. This is the sixth one. This is what it looks like. Then two double crochet in the next two stitches. One, each one, and two. Then repeat the pattern one more time. Double crochet in the next 12 stitches. One, 
starting in the next two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And this is what it looks like so far. Then two double crochets in the next stitch. One and two in the same stitch. One double crochet in the next stitch. This is the first one. Two double crochets in the next stitch. One and two. And one double crochet in the next stitch. This is the second one. Two double crochets in the next stitch. One. Two double crochets in the same stitch and one double crochet in the next stitch. So this is the third one. Two double crochets again in the next stitch. One and two and one double crochet in the next stitch. So this is the fourth one. Two double crochets in the next stitch. One and two and then double crochet in the next stitch. This is the fifth one. Then the sixth one, two double crochets in the next stitch, one and two, and then one double crochet in the next stitch. So this is the sixth one. And then on this last stitch here, double crochet in this last stitch. To end the round, just slip stitch on this stitch right here. Hope you can see clearly. So slip stitch to join the round. And this is how to end round 4, and this is what round 4 looks like. Round 5, chain 1, single crochet in the first 3 stitches, starting in the first stitch right here. 1, 2, and 3. Chain 3, 1, 2, 3, and single crochet in the same stitch, like this. Then single crochet in the next 3 stitches, 1, two and three chain three one two three and single crochet in the same stitch repeat the pattern single crochet in the next three stitches one two and three chain three one two three and single crochet in the same stitch this is what it looks like repeat Single crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, and three. Chain three. One, two, three, and single crochet in the same stitch. So repeat this pattern around. I'll be cutting off the video and I'll be back when I'm towards the end of the round. And I'm here now towards the end of the round. So just to continue the pattern, single crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, and three. Chain 3, single crochet in the same stitch, single crochet in the next 3 stitches, 1, 2, and 3, chain 3, 1, 2, 3, and single crochet in the same stitch. Now to join the round, just slip stitch in the beginning chain 1, right here, so slip stitch like this to join the round and fasten off and we're done weave the ends clean up the tails and we're done and this is now what the piece looks like all cleaned up and all done so if you want to make this piece larger I have written down the instructions in the description below and for this piece, this measures about 8 inches by uh, 6 inches. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you like this video. Take good care everyone and until next time.